All right, Halos, welcome back. We're back in Final Fantasy 16. Uh, we just um, got back to, uh, what is it called? Sorry, I forgot the name, East Pool. Um, and I really quickly wanted to go ahead and uh, do some ability upgrades super fast. So we got Ignition. Oh, shoot. I guess we're in combat, so never mind. Maybe if I shoot that, we won't be? Let's see. Nope. We're still in combat. So yeah, anyways, let's continue on. We fought some uh, enemies that were destroying and burning the uh, burning the, the town here. So let's, let's get back to these guys. Let's do the, the full limit break. Or maybe it's just the first. We get two charges, maybe. Oh, no, it's the full one. It uses both, it looks like. Interesting. Hold on, I want to head back up here real fast. Don't want to miss any enemies. I feel like I missed some up there, but maybe not. Did I? That looks like we got him on, so never mind. Oh yeah. That was really nice. Alright, that's all the enemies there. Oh. Cinematic. Or cutscene, shut the Oh, hello. All must burn! The bearers and those who sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command! What the heck, man? That's messed up. Uh. My mother ordered this. I... Right. I know. It could wait. Get, Get freaking wrecked, buddy. Staggered. Get a boy. There, boy. Keep your distance, boy. Get a boy. Sick of toggle. Over here. Oh, what the heck? What was that? To find hammer. Interesting. Imperial champion. Alright, we've almost got him actually. Staggered. I don't think we need to use our limit break. <laughs> to be honest. Yep, there we go. Got him. Enemy slain. Imperial champion slain as well. Among like another 10, 15 enemies or so. Maybe more. Man, this poor city. Town. Village. I'm sorry, Lady Anna. <gasps> oh no. You deserved so much better. All of these people did. True. Better than my mother. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're too late, Gav. Clive. On the 
orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav, we want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. then sad oh now rats lead me to your nest oh Lord Kutger's message for your leader if only he knew where to send it <laughs> uh oh. We're leading him straight to the hideout. Hideaway. The hideaway. <laughs> That's bad. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's travel there. Eh? We don't have any other options. <laughs> Writing wrongs. Is it solo then? We have a lot to discuss. Indeed. All right, um, I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Didn't sound happy. There's a lot of stuff I think we can do real fast. There's some, I want to sell some potions and things. I know we can change our appearance now. Appearance doesn't matter. Use the appearance option in the array stone to change the outward appearance of Clive or his party members. The appearance of Clive's weapon can also be changed to that of any previously obtained weapon while maintaining the current weapon stats. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so yeah, I should buy some other ones. Okay, so we've got normal appearance. We've got... Burnt black, that's kind of cool looking. <laughs> Looks like those are the only two right now. Uh, Jill, normal, and then she's got Snow White. Ooh, that's really cool, actually. Ooh. Mm. I kind of like the Snow White. Uh, Torgal is normal, or oh, we've got Icy Blue. I like the Icy Blue. That's, that's pretty cool looking. Um, I think I'll go with the normal appearance for Clive for right now. And we do have the weapon choices, so uh, obviously we have Invictus equipped, but we could we could switch it to another sword if we wanted to. I think we'll keep it though, because to be honest, it's probably the best looking sword in my opinion so far. Um, but that's fine. Yeah, cool. So we've changed her appearance. I'm not sure where she went, but yeah, or Torgal, but it's okay. They don't need to follow us around in here. Uh, oh, there's Torgal, I think. Look what the girl dragged in. Going purse weighing you down. <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of just want these so I can look at them basically. Basically, but let's first uh, let's sell some stuff. I've got some of this stuff as well. We should probably head to the blacksmith and see if we can craft any other stuff as well. To be honest. Oh, and it looks like we can't sell anything here actually. Or we can, but it's not necessary, basically. Um, I'll go ahead and get rid of most of these. You got that much. You got out else? All right. Um, let's go ahead and buy the Gaia you blade. Find a better price than that. And then you can get the bastard sword. You're blind, you know. Long sword. You find a better price than that. And a broadsword. You're rubbing me blind, you know. 
these are all worse than what we have. Oh, speaking of which, we can sell some of our other stuff too. Uh, yeah, let's do that real fast. I forgot about that. Um, we'll go ahead and where is it? Fan braces? No. Oh, we must have already sold them then. Whoops, I thought we didn't. Never mind. Well, we could sell these if we want to. Because I'm probably not really going to use them, to be honest with you guys. But I'm going to hold on to them for now, I think. So, Torgal. Alright, um, is there any side quests in here, by the way? Just out of curiosity. Is there a Castrion? No, it doesn't look like it. But, uh, let me quickly look in here to look at the swords that we that we have as in options because now we have more yep so we've got imperial blade we've got broadsword long sword bastard sword gaia blade all right cool uh yeah definitely invictus is what we're gonna go with also i'm pretty sure i'm gonna make sure i'm using the red sword no i don't want to use the broadsword i would like to use invictus the best one so far all right, yeah, it looks like we already did sell the other ones. That's right, that's why. Okay, cool. Uh, and then abilities. Let's go ahead and unlock ignition. And ooh, maybe I think we'll wait on it. Let's get will of the wikes. That's pretty cool. At least unlock it, right? And then we should uh, we should probably get this and this as well. At least unlock them. <clears throat> then we can worry about like mastering more stuff later. But yeah, uh, I think ignition's probably a pretty good one to have equipped. Um, gear and icons, yeah, there we go. Got Ignition and Will of the Wikes. <laughs> I don't know exactly how much damage it does, but um, it has the same star level as Rising Flames. We could at least try it if we wanted to. Um, Scarlet Phoenix, I like it though. It's, it's a nice like circular one as well. I don't know. I think we'll just try them out real fast, and then if we don't like them, we can switch back. How does that sound? That sounds pretty nice, right? All right. Um. Yeah. What was Rook's gamut again? Jump back and then deliver a punishing counter. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Well, let's hop over to the blacksmith real fast. See if there's anything we can do there. Like thorn. Sorry, would it be? Uh, oh, it's worse than what we have, but that's fine. Let, let's set wind shard because I think that's the only thing it's used for. While. Um, we don't need that because we already have it. We've already bought all of these, so I'm not worried about that. Storm cry, we already got. We just made. This stuff is just worse than what we have, so we don't need it. All right, cool. That's all good. We can reinforce some stuff. It looks like maybe. Uh, well, maybe not actually. Hold on. Broadsword. If we reinforce this, it's still just worse. <laughs> Gaia blade. We could do. What's my? Oh right, because I have the other one equipped. <laughs> That's white. Um. Nah, I think I'll save it honestly for now. I don't think it's really worth it. The materials. I don't have the think about it. materials for any of this stuff, so I think we're good. Let's make sure we equip our, our correct sword, though. It does look pretty cool, actually. I think. Oh, wait, no, I can't see the appearance here. Hold on. Clive, was it? Sure was. Uh, yeah, let's look at it real fast. Weapon. There it is, Stormcry. Oh, that's a pretty cool looking one, actually. What's it look like on the outside? I guess we can't really swing it here, but that's not bad looking. You know what? We'll rock with it for a little while and check it out for a bit. All right, um, let's talk to. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. So happy. Let's talk to these this person up here real fast. I can't remember what his name was. The Chrono Keeper or something. Harpocrates. Yeah. yeah. Have you come for a tale? <laughs> Tell him of our adventures, and he'll update our tomes. Was that it? Oh, wow. shall we consider today? I you thought there would have been more. Welcome, Clive. Thank you. Uh, really fast. Let's talk to. Let's ask Karen how she's doing, because it looked like we haven't done that yet. And then we can head up to where Sid is. 
And what do you want? Taking an interest, are you? Wondering why such a comely, cultured lady would cast her lot with this rabble? Because she's just got a special arrangement with the rabble rouser. That's why I scratch Sid's back and he scratches mine. Use me old trading connections to bring in whatever him and his little band need, and they pay what I, I ask. The deal. He's given me a home here, far from the prying eyes of those who'd wish me ill. Ill. Uh, and there's no straight shortage of them, believe you me. All right, there we go. Stay safe. Thank well, you, you too. All right, we could talk to just about everyone here, but just no need to. Breather, How's it going, Taria? I can set a broken arm, soothe a cough, settle a stomach, but there is no remedy for what happened in Eastbrook. My talents are worthless in the face of such cruelty. Yeah, it's a real shame to be honest. All right, um, let's head to Sid's room then. Oh, there she is. What's up, Jill? We can keep running. Or we can walk through this door. Let's walk through the door. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant, Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness, and in turn, salvation, can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colourful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. What trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital. Yes. Pay a visit to Mother. Yes. Take her out. <laughs> nice. That's what I'm talking about. Look, it's King's Landing. I mean, or a flam. And the last of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and bluster. Your radiance?
If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Gentlemen, did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... Well, I don't The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. Sylvester. Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. There will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Arthur. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. <laughs> We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer, until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mine from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this here fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well... I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the Mother Crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. 
Inconvenient to whom, exactly? The higher-ups? The gods themselves? <sighs> so now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down, in order to build us a new one. What say you? Are you with me? Excuse me. I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. What have I got myself into? I'm going to need more than a few potions for this. Yep, definitely. All right, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Been a little bit over time. Thank you guys for watching once again, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.